Hello traders, Gary Wagner here at just after 2 o'clock in Honolulu, 7 o'clock in New York. It is Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is November the 6th, 2020 and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. First of all, I want to thank all of our sus subscribers for having faith in us when we issued a trade alert just prior to the, the election. I know that there was risk involved, but I felt strongly enough about it to put it out in a trade alert. And it seems at least for now, that has absolutely benefited all of our subscribers. We'll go through all of our trades as well as our stops. We did send out a trade alert this morning, but we'll cover it once again when we look at the price board. And let's do that right now. As you know, we put on a series of trades on October 21st for ETFs and then the day before the election on November the 2nd. On today's show, what I really want to detail is where we want to move our stops up to on Monday morning to lock in some profits. Gold closed at 1951.50. That is a net change of $4.71 on the day. We are long at 18.99 and I will put up where I am suggesting that we move our stop to. Spot or Forex Gold closed higher by $1.75. It is currently fixed at 1950.98. We entered our trade at 1896, and we are recommending that you move your stop from $1,860 to $1,912, putting it just below the 50-day moving average. Although not as stellar as yesterday's 6% gain, silver nonetheless gained 51 cents, a 2% gain, currently 25.70. We entered our trade at 24.21, and we're recommending that you move your stop to 25.07. Again, we're putting it below the 50-day moving average. We do have open positions in the electronically traded funds, GLD, and SLV. As far as GLD is concerned, it closed at 183.19. We entered the trade at 180.46, and we are recommending that you move your stop up to $179.75. And that is also based upon the 50-day moving average. Is the iShares Silver Trust SLV Currently at $23.79 per share. We are recommending that you move your stop up to $23.25. Traders, this has truly been an exciting and eventful week and a very good week for those trading the precious metals. The first thing that I do want to address when we look at this daily candlestick chart of gold futures, three major technical indicators have really shown a bullish tendency in the market. The first two have to do with our moving averages. First of all, our 100-day down here in blue and then our 50-day moving average in green. As you can see, yesterday, we actually opened just above the 100-day moving average and closed well above the 50-day moving average. And that is absolutely significant. This is our 50-day and our 100-day here. The next technical indicator, which is showing us some real strength, is the fact that we also closed above the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement. And as you know, this is from a long data set from about 1450 in March to 2088. Assuming that we see gold continue to trend higher, which I truly believe it will, the question becomes where can we expect to find potential resistance points? There are a couple of points that we need to pay attention to. The first one that I'm going to highlight is this blue line that I've just added comes in at $1,980 and it is really referencing these series of tops right in here that occurred at the end of August and throughout September. The next level of potential resistance occurs at roughly $2,025. It is based on this top right here. And then of course the brass ring is the all time record high at 2,088. We have raised our stops. If the market continues to track higher, we want to see if it finds resistance at any of these points. Traders, the opening letter addressed the news about the pandemic. It has hit alarming numbers. 
Thursday, it was reported that over 100,000 new cases were in the United States. And that's not just the United States, because globally we are seeing spikes all over. My sense is that has to, has to result in government spending more money, fiscal stimulus in the United States, as well as the rest of the world. And it is for that reason, I believe, that the undertones and fundamentals behind gold continuing to rise are very, very strong. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you on Monday for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.